Welcome everybody. Today we will be playing Something in the Shadows and learning vocabulary throughout. Let's go. Where am I? How did I get here? There's a door in front of me and to the left a note that says get out. I'm going to take the note and before I leave I'm going to explore this room a little bit. There are two bottles on this bedside table. Huh, there's a strange symbol on the bed sheets. Just over the bed, there's a landscape painting. You can see the river flowing and trees surrounding it. Opposite this painting, there's another one. A painting of a gentleman from a different time. You can tell that he's of a different era uh, by his dress. He's wearing armor. There's a ruff around his neck. His hand is on the hilt of his sword. And you can see to his left, there's his helmet. Ah, there's even a locket on his necklace. All right, let's keep exploring. A vase. And here's a bathroom connected to that bedroom. That's nice. Very convenient. It's got everything you would want a bathroom to have. A sink with a faucet, a toilet, a bathtub. Oh, there's even a plant. Oh, and there's a note, of course, behind you. Behind me? What's behind me? There's nothing behind me. All right, let's leave this bedroom and explore the rest of the house. Hmm, another painting. I can't see this one very well, though, because it's too dark. Perhaps we can turn on the light and get a better look at it. There we go. Alright, I think this is my favorite painting so far. I like the lamp post and the trees and the fence that recedes into the distance. Lovely. Some books. Unfortunately, we don't have time to take a moment to read. We have to keep exploring this house. I see another note. Use the front door. Whoever left that note doesn't want us in this house, so let's go. Oh, but before we go, let's have a look at this picture. It looks like a family portrait. An old photograph. All right, let's go downstairs and leave. Leave now. I was just about to. It's locked. I need to find the key somewhere. All right, let's try to find the key. Perhaps it's this way. We'll turn on this light. You know, even though this house is a little bit spooky, it's quite nice. Beautiful. You've got your dining room and kitchen here. You can see on the kitchen table we have some mugs. We have a stack of bowls. You can see some spoons that have been collected in a cup or a vase of some sort. There's a kettle. Filming this video, I made a serious mistake. I called this object a tea kettle, but it is actually a teapot. What's the difference between the two? A tea kettle is used to heat water for tea, and a teapot is where you pour the hot water and let it steep. Tea is served from the teapot. All right, let's explore this kitchen. What a beautiful kitchen. You've got a fridge. Oh, don't let him take you. Well, I don't know who he is, but if I do see him, I'll try to stop him from taking me. Beautiful island in the center of the kitchen. 
A lot of people want an island in their kitchen. And there's a knife sitting on a cutting board. There's quite a bit of storage space in this kitchen. Oh, and I like that. The moonlight shining in through the window. Gee, I could spend more time in this kitchen, but we should probably leave this house as it does not belong to us. Looks like this door is locked. All right. Let's try this room. Yes, looks like the door is open. There's a flashlight. The flashlight needs a new light bulb and some batteries. I think I heard those doors on the second floor move. Weren't they locked earlier? Hmm. Let's turn on this light and see what's in this room. Oh, got a light bulb. Wonder where the light bulb was. Anyway, this looks like quite a cozy room. There's a fireplace. A couple chairs positioned near the fireplace. It looks like a couple people were enjoying some tea. And also reading Necronomicon Ex Mortis. That sounds like Latin. I'm not sure what it means, but it I think it relates to death. Necronomicon Ex Mortis is Latin. It translates to Book of the Dead. It is not a real book, but a fictional book from the mind of H.P. Lovecraft, who was an American writer of weird science, fantasy, and horror stories. He is perhaps best known for having created the cosmic entity known as Cthulhu. And how unusual. In this photograph, I see a character in the corner with glowing eyes. Spooky. Let's find those flashlight batteries. I think they're upstairs. Oh, there he is again. The strange character with glowing eyes. Ah, he seems to be making an appearance in every piece of artwork we've seen thus far. What about this piece of artwork? Is he here? He's not there. See, that's why it's my favorite painting. Let's see if we can find those batteries. Perhaps they're in here. Let's turn the light on. Yep, I see them. There they are. Our batteries. All right, the flashlight works. Did those doors downstairs just unlock? Let's see. The doors downstairs. I wonder which doors have just unlocked. Is it this door? Nope. Perhaps it's this one. There we go. Ah, I believe this is a study. So this is where an individual would go to do work, perhaps write letters to friends. Um, great place to put your computer right here. Oh, there's a note. He's here. Uh-oh. He's here. I wonder where. Lots of books. What a collection of books. And I see a key. Excellent. That's the key to the basement door. Oh, the light's turned off. Maybe there's a circuit breaker in the basement. Okay, so the electricity has all turned off. I'm going to go down into the basement and locate the circuit breaker. That's what you use to, um, to determine uh, which appliances in the house receive electricity. All right, let's go into the spooky basement. Here we go. Oh, my flashlight turned off. And I think I saw that strange creature. He must live in this house. All right, let's get out of here. There's the circuit breaker. Hmm, a shield. There's a note right over the circuit breaker that says the key is in the bathroom. Okay, good to know. I suppose they're referring to the key to the front door. 
And then here's the circuit breaker. And we'll pull these switches. Looks like the lights work again. Gotta get out of here now. Where's that damn key? Let's head upstairs. And grab that key to the front door and get out of here. Because I don't feel very welcome. The bathroom upstairs. I wonder if they're referring to this bathroom. Look at that. The strange creature's eyes glow in the corner of this painting. Perhaps the creature lives within the artwork of this house. Now where's that key? There it is, right on the toilet seat. Doesn't everybody keep their keys on their toilet seats? The lights are out again. I have to get out of here. All right, let's get out of here. I have the key to the front door. Oh, my Lord. Looks like the creature has moved within that painting. Let's go to the front door. <sighs> He's right there. Oh, and look how many of them are in that painting. We have to get out of here. There's more than one creature, and I think they're surrounding us. Oh, there he is. Spooky. Thank you for watching me play Something in the Shadows, a game that you can download and play yourself. It's available for free. Check out the link in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to Languistic for more content like this. Happy Halloween, and bye-bye.